Today I'm going to show you how you can play the memory game of numbers with your child. The only things you need are uh, slips of paper to have, you want one each for numbers 0 to 10, um, or if your child is still working on 1 to 5, then only include those numbers. Um, this game is really to reinforce the association of the numbers with the quantity. Um, so if you want to use numbers that they have a pretty good grasp of just to help practice it. So you need something to hold the numbers and then uh, some kind of basket or container, leftover Easter basket, um, that they can go and collect things in. So I will invite my child to come and join this game with me. And so she is going to pick out the first number. She's going to take a peek, see what it is. Three. Three. Okay. Now she's going to remember that number. We're going to hide the number. You're going to remember it. All right. Go get that many spoons. Okay. So you can use any items around the house. Um, and one thing that we're really going to work on is having them practice grouping in fives and being able to visually recognize what the quantity is, especially for six to ten. Um, so we'll see how it goes. All right, what did you bring? Three spoons. How many is it? Three. Three, and is that what this says? It is three. You remembered. All right, let's try the next one. Can you pick up the next number? Okay, take a peek, see what it is. Seven. Seven, okay. Oh, we're going to hide it under here. All right, seven is five and two. two. Go get seven Legos. Now in the classroom, we'll all have multiple children playing this game, taking turns, and we'll whisper what it is so the other kids don't know. It's a surprise. And we'll see how many they come back with. Um, and um, the other fun aspect of this game is including zero. Because they have to figure out what to do if you get zero. All right, so you can put the pieces. Can you arrange it so I can tell how many you have without counting them? And you can do this with anything around the house, with stuffed animals, Legos, blocks, utensils, socks, dried beans, anything, anything really can work. All right, how many do you have? Seven, because that's a five. Pam and did that. Five and two. All right. Let's peek. Is this a seven under here? Seven. Seven. You can even tell it upside down. All right. <laughs> seven. All right, do you want to do the next one? Yeah. What is it? Zero. Zero. Okay, go get zero pillows. Can you fit zero pillows in your basket? Yes, I can. Let's see. Alright, what did you bring? Zero. Zero, zero what? Pillows. Zero pillows. Okay, put your zero okay. pillows right over here and we'll label it. Alright, and you'll notice we're just using a towel. I picked the plain one so it wouldn't distract. I'll label it. And um, the way that we did, she grouped the numbers here. Um, we do fives, we'll make a four square and then put one on top or in the middle and call it a five. five this is like a five star or five. if we have them close together, we'll call it a five pyramid. Um, but it's a way that kids can visually recognize a group of five. So we know that five and two is seven. All right, and you can keep going with all the numbers. And um, if you have multiple children, Nine. this is a great game to involve a group that they can take turns going and getting something. Yeah. Enjoy the game.